Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to take a look at another G.I. Joe Classified series for you guys, and this time we have another one that, uh, that's actually I paid one of my friends on Twitter. So, I want to give a shout out to my friend Stitch on Twitter, and Stitch, have you seen this? Thank you very much for helping me out, and for helping me out getting the legacy Snarl figure, and I bless you for it. So the figure I'm going to take a look for G.I. Joe is this right here. So we have G.I. Joe Classified Series number 36, Spirit Iron Knife. And I am very excited to have this in my collection. Now, before we continue on, I need you guys to do me a little bit of a quick favor, so I'll be right back. Hey, you. Stop what you're doing. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and enjoy your day. So anyways, I am very excited to have this in my collection. Now, if you guys already seen uh, Storm Shadow, which is number 35, go ahead and check it out. So here's what the package is going to look like right here, of course, and you can see the nice, awesome art style of Spirit right here. So here it is, and his companion, I forgot the name of the eagle, by the way, so yes, if anyone does know, leave a comment down below. You can see the side of the packaging right here, you can see the nice artwork of Spirit right here. I could try to move around the, the lights a bit right here, there we go. And you can see down here it had the head of an eagle right here, it looks pretty awesome, you can see him holding a sniper rifle. Nothing, uh, to, you can see the top hand number 36 on it, nothing on the bottom. Uh, also the side of it, you can see, has the symbols right here, and also he's the master of, with animals right here, and also number 36. And of course the back of the packaging right there, so yeah. So let's take a look over the accessory that he have, and look over, like, take a look over the figure. So here is all the content that he comes with, so he comes with his pet eagle right here. Two alternate uh, wings, we got the folded one and we got the extended one, I did pop them out because I want to show you that. I will show this off uh, in a moment, so yeah, his pet eagle and two, and the two alternate wings. His pack pack is very special, there's two pack holes on it right there, and I'll show you that in a moment also. He comes with this awesome good looking knife, and I actually want to say one thing, this is actually one of my favorite accessories for Spirit because... You see the nice detail right there that he have in his knife, but also he has a skull of a bird right there. So that's actually pretty cool to be honest with you. Also he comes with a, I'm not sure what kind of knife this one is, a combat knife or a bowie knife, but if you guys are knife expert, please do comment down below. He comes with a pistol, I'm not sure the name of this pistol, but if you guys are gun expert, please do comment down below. A magazine for a sniper rifle right there. And one more thing, do not lose it and last but not least his sniper rifle with the with the silencer suppressor right there and this awesome looking scope may not sure the name of this one but if you guys do know leave a comment down below all right let's take a look over the figure so here it is spirit right here and before we continue on um this character is a native american that's all i'm gonna say so yeah also Spirit is one also, also one of my favorite characters because he is, uh, if I can remember, I seen one of the episodes on YouTube on G.I. Joe. He is like, nice, respectful dude, care for his, you know, for his people and his pet bird. And I, and I respect the guy. I do, I do like this character. Uh, oh sh shit, I'll be right back. I think I saw something I may not like. Okay, I thought I saw a cockroach. Long story short, I hate cockroaches. So, here it is spared right here. Now, the painting and sculpted the detailing of this figure looks absolutely amazing. Now, I'm trying to make sure. There we go. Trying to make sure everything is, like, straightened out because I feel like something's a bit crooked. So, anyways, paint and sculpted the detailing of this figure looks amazingly well. I do love the details in the color scheme that they added in. And to be honest with you, Spirit looks pretty a good, awesome-looking figure. I want to say one thing. The head sculpt that they added in... They put it in, looks amazing. I do like when he had the bandana on his head, and you can see the two, I would say ponytail, but the facing, you know, four right here. I actually do like it a lot. I also like he has his blue shirt. Looks very well, and also does print it over here, one side with the tomahawk right there, looking badass. And that's one, and I, there's one thing I actually like to say. I like the I like the details of the tomahawk of the Native Americans. They look so amazing. I like the details of it. I like the looks. I will actually like to have one in my collection. You know, just one for display and I guess that pretty much that's it. 
I'm just saying. And he does have like a three rank of it right there. I'm not sure what that means. If I can zoom in right here, I know I didn't show it off, but you can see the three ranks right there. And of course, the tomahawk symbol right there. Do like it a lot. And you can closer look at the details right there. You can see more of the face right there. Also, there we go. Also, he does have some details right there. Looks pretty cool, but I wish they could add some more paint to it. He does, by the look of it, look more like a like flashbang or smoke bomb. And of course, there's a grenade right there. And there's a this part right there for his knife right there. Two of his knife. You can see more detail on the belt right there. Looks absolutely amazing. I wish they could add some more paint to it. Just my opinion, to be honest with you. And coming down to the legs area, you can see holster for the his pistol. Of course, for the knife and more of it right there. So, yeah. So, anyways, articulation-wise, head is on a bar joint. Of course, the head and the neck is on a barbell joint. So, yeah. Head can go 306 degrees. Can go up and down of it. Both the ponytails are made of a rubber material. So, articulating the head is easy peasy. Head can go up and down. Pivot side to side. So, you got somewhat of articulation for the head part. And for the neck, um, can go left and right, but not that much. So yeah, but it does go down that far for the neck and that go up that far for the neck. Arms can go full 360, it's on, a, it's on a swing. Arms can go in and out. Swivel butterfly joint right here, it does go side to side. Swivel at the bicep right there of the arm. A double bent at the elbow right there. Swivel at the wrist. Wrist can go up and down on the left side and for the right side right here can go side to side so you get some good decent possibility of this figure app crunch right here and by the way all this part right here you guys can see are rubber material so that's actually good and an arcing back that's actually pretty good uh, body can move side to side uh, a full 360 right here so yeah and it does move a little bit of side to side I think Okay, not really though. Legs can go forward that far, back that far. Legs can shift. The leg can shift up and down, so that's actually pretty nice. You do have some thigh swivel, but of course, this part of the rubber material, so it will hit down here in the crutch area. So yeah. A double bend at the knee right there. Pretty good. No issues with it. Like one of the, all the previous figures that I have. <clears throat> I mean, I should have forgot which one, but yep, dog on socks. You got some calf swivel right there. Feet can go up and down. Perfectly good. No stiffness. And it moves side to side. And one more thing. I like the boot detailing. Looks pretty good. Articulation is actually pretty cool. But of course some of the part will be in the way. So yeah. The, you have to suck it up for it. So yeah. Now for the eagle. I actually want to show it off. But first I need to pop in the the wings first. So. Or. Show you the eagle. Of the articulation of it. Forgot the name also, like I said, you guys can correct me in the comments. Let's put Spirit to the side for now. You can see his pet eagle right there. Looking pretty awesome. Of course, it's a bold eagle. The paint scope, the detailing looks amazingly well. And I do like it. I like what they actually painted the eyes. Like an actual bold eagle have. It looks so, so well. And of course, they had yellow on the beak. Now, articulation-wise, head is on a bar joint, so it goes up and down, up and down. Uh, can look a little bit of left and right, unfortunately. Both of the arm, both of the wings on a bar joint, so does go full 360 right there. For this alternate wing, it does go in and out a little bit. So I'm gonna move the the wings out of the way because the legs can go forward, not that much backwards because of the design of the tail, and his feet can go on well, the claws can go 36 degrees. And if we plug in the alternate wings. The extended version, and this is actually getting very juicy because after judging that, I kind of feel disrespectful for saying juicy in front of a bald eagle, and I'm going to hell for this. Oh, I'm so fucking stupid. I'm so sorry. But anyways, here's the good part about this. Now you have more motions of the wings, and you can do up and down. And of course, it could does go full 360. And that is actually the goodest part about this one. Plus, I actually like this figure because of this. This is the reason why I actually got it. It looks so badass. Even I can actually use this as a, dis as a Fourth of Display to Fourth of July display, and I love it a lot. God, this is actually my favorite, uh, favorite uh, pet for GI Joe, and I'm actually gonna buy the the deluxe animal companion uh, sets. If you know, Snake Eyes with Timber. 
and yeah. And also, I am buying mutt and junkyard in the future, so yes. But this is actually looks badass. I'm gonna put this aside for the final pose. Now for his um, now for the uh the weapons that he also has for the sniper rifle, you can plug it in right here. I think I got it right. Hold on a minute, gotta be sure. Okay, so I did got it right. So yeah. So you see, you have his sniper rifle now. Uh, let's actually show off what the weapons that he comes with. So let's gonna start off with his knife, the the special knife with the skull bird on it right there. I'm actually gonna join painting his accessories in this figure. Oh, I need to think of which paint goes where. But yeah, you can see with the with the knife on it. I should have probably used the other one, but I'm an idiot, so I'm probably gonna do the other one. Ah, uh, shit. But I messing around with the uh, accessories of it. It's kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. So here it is with this. No, okay, well, that doesn't want to go in. But it does have weapon storage of it right here. So his special skull, skull knife can go here. His combat knife, by the way, can go here. You can see what it looks like. It looks pretty cool. I wish to add some more paint to it. And plus, it will go to here. I think that's where it goes. I may not sure. Hold on a minute. I think I got it backwards. Let's check out the combat knife. Nope. I think I got it right. But just to be sure. Hold on a minute. I'm always get confused. So yeah, I think I got it right. So this will go here. This will go here. They should probably add instructions like like which part goes, which accessory goes with each holster. So yeah, uh, for his pistol, oops, let's grab, let's have him holding the pistol. Come on. There you go. You can see what he looks like with the pistol, and it does have a pickle down here. Does have a pickle right here. You can plug in any uh, shooting effect piece, which is actually pretty nice. So, let's remove that. And plug it into his holster right here. Snug in perfectly well. And for his sniper rifle, make sure the trigger finger is in the trigger part. Which is easier said than done because it's a giant pain in the ass to do. Also... Leave the comment down below which one is your favorite G.I. Joe character. I should probably do like a top 10 or top 5. I'm mean, not sure. And you can see what he looks like holding with the sniper rifle. But, of course, like I said, for the side to side movement for the arms, you can plug it in here so he can actually have this figure. Use the butterfly joint for this. So, come on. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Please. Please. And you can see what he looks like with the sniper rifle. Looks pretty good. But you have to like, of course, you have must have to angle it. But yeah. But let's actually remove it because you want to do weapon storage of it. And I'll be right back. Sorry about that. My mom just is drunk, walking around like a complete jackass, and I am actually getting on my last nerve. So, anyways, now see this pegel right there in the back, which I forgot to mention that you can plug it into the backpack right here, like that. And there's a peg right to the side on the right side of the backpack because you can actually store the sniper rifle in there, which I think it goes this way. There we go. You can see it's stored right there. Perfectly well, and it won't come out. See, now, you, now these two pegos right there, and then these two pegs on his bird. Plug it in over here. So you want to make sure these plugs in. It's much better if you remove the take off spare first. Yeah, there we go. And I wish they could add some black, color black on the claws. Just my opinion, so yeah. And you can see right here, 
Spirit and his pet eagle. Looking together and badass. And that's actually pretty cool. This figure is very really awesome. Just be very careful because if you mess around with him or if you want to display him, he will probably be back heavy. So, yeah. So, I'm going to give him the final pose to give you guys my final results. So, I'll be right back. This is the final pose I can give to Spirit and his eagle. And this is absolutely amazing. Anyways, I'm going to end this right here. So, have fun. So, stay from always. I'm out.